Good morning, Kilbourne. This is your WKHS News for Friday, October 4th. On this week's news, we test the Fry Guy, Mr. Martin, go behind the scenes for Volley for a Cure, ask Kilbourne students their favorite fall activities, and highlight Senora Valdez's trip to Spain this past summer. Your WKHS News starts now. Good morning, Kilbourne. I'm Joel Nkruma. And I'm Cindy Spambonato. Math teacher Mr. Barring here at Kilbourne has claimed that he can taste test French fries from five different restaurants and correctly predict where they're from. Sean and Tate put it to the test. I'm Mr. Martin. I'm a math teacher here at Kilbourne, and I claim to be the best fry taster in all of Central Ohio. Okay. I'm thinking it's canes right away. Yeah, crinkle cut, kind of soft, not a ton of flavor. Seems like canes. Fry number two. Mmm. Very potatoey, kind of skinny. Thinking McDonald's. I'm locking it in. Fry number two. Beep, McDonald's. Fry number three, very crispy, crinkle cut, small ridges close together. Um, it's, a, it's a good fry on the fry. I'm gonna say steak shot. Here's fry number four. Hmm. I feel part of the potato. I'm thinking it's Wendy's, but I'm not sure yet. Need to taste fry number five. All right, fry number five. Mm. Not a good one, so I'm gonna say it's Burger King. Fry number four, locking it in for Wendy's, and then fry number five, locking it in for Burger King. Now looking at them, would you make any changes? Do. Number four is Burger King, number five is Wendy's. Post game interview with the Fry Guy here, you went three for five, fans are disappointed, what do you have to say? You know, it wasn't our best performance. Um, I'm gonna blame part of it on my coffee. You know, I think my taste buds were thrown off a little bit. Um, I do stand by the fact that Burger King does not have good fries even though I didn't get it right. Uh, and Wendy's not great either. So I'll take a, a, a solid victory there, both bad. This has been Shine and Tate, your WKHS News. On Monday, Worthington Kilburn had one of their longest traditions, Volley for the Cure. Ivy and Sophia tell us more. This week, Sophia and I interview volleyball players about Volley for the Cure. My name's Lily, I'm a junior, and I'm the center on the varsity women's volleyball team. Volley for the Cure is a fundraiser game that we play every year, and it just raises awareness for breast cancer research and all of the proceeds from the game go to the Susan G. Komen Foundation. Hi, I'm Peyton, I'm a freshman, and I'm an awesome I'm Bo, I'm a freshman, and I'm a setter in middle. My name is Elizabeth Bennett, I'm a junior, and I'm a right side. My favorite part is the bake sale because they have really good cookies and they're not that expensive and all the proceeds go to breast cancer research. My favorite part is like turning the gym pink and getting to change things up and wearing the pink jerseys and like doing like fun hair. My favorite part was making the baskets because it goes to a good cause. My favorite part of All It For The Cure is giving roses to people. So with the roses, you give the rose to someone who's had breast cancer, is battling breast cancer, or has been affected by someone who has cancer. And I gave mine to my grandma, and it's really cool to just see people supporting each other. We raised $3,991 from the silent auction alone, and then $667 from the 50-50 raffle. And then we still have to add up proceeds from the t-shirt sale and the bake sale, so more totals to come. This has been Ivy Pope and Sophia Tyak with your WKHS News. Football, Halloween, Thanksgiving, fall is one of the best times of the year. Kate and Sydney go around asking Kilbourne students what they like to do in the fall. In honor of fall starting, we ask people different fall questions to get them in the fall spirit. What's your favorite fall activity? 
Um, apple picking. For sure, apple picking. <laughs> What's your favorite fall activity? Uh, sleeping in. Football. Football. Baseball. Okay, what is your favorite fall drink? My favorite fall drink is the apple cider latte from Starbucks. Ooh. What's your favorite fall song? Monster Mash, shout out Sal. They did the mash. They did the monster mash. What is your favorite fall song? Uh, Save Two by V's. What is your favorite fall drink? Um, the pumpkin chai from Starbucks. What's your guys' favorite fall show or movie? Okay, my favorite show is Stranger Things. Um, during fall, I like to watch Hocus Pocus, Halloween Town, and then I like to watch like um, the Halloween episodes on Disney Channel. They. What's your favorite fall activity? Uh, I would say like trick or treating or like playing with leaves and stuff. What's your favorite fall food? I'd say the pumpkin cookies with cream cheese frosting. What's your favorite fall song? Um, we fell in love in October by Girl in Red. That's what. We fell in love in October. What's your favorite fall food? Pumpkin pie. What's your favorite fall activity? I'd say uh, watching a football game. What's your favorite fall food? Um, I like apple pie. What's your favorite fall activity? Fall activity? S like watching football games outside with a fire pit. What is your favorite fall activity? Playing football. What is your favorite fall activity? Um, making fall treats with my friends. What's your favorite fall drink? The pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks. What is your favorite fall activity? Practicing with my racehorses. This has been Sunny Spampanato and Kate Williamson with UWKHS News. So, have you ever been to Spain? Why, well, of course I have. Senor Valdez went there this summer. Preston will tell us more about her trip. I'm Senora Valdez. I teach Spanish 2 and 3 here at Kilbourne and also at Linworth. So I went to Spain with my husband, but we had a week where his sister came and visited us, my mom came, my cousin came, and then I also met up with a bunch of friends while I was there. So I was there for five weeks, and it was great. My husband and I, we just lived there. We lived in a little town about two hours north from, of Madrid, and we went, took some classes, ate lots of good food, and it was just super fun. What surprised you the most while you were in Spain? So in Spain, what surprised me the most was the food. The first time I went, um, because my husband's from Mexico, so we have lots of flavors and salsas with everything that we eat. And over there, they don't have as many. It's very like ham and potato based. And it's really good the first time, but after that, I got a little tired. But it was still really good. So my husband and I spent a lot of time in the center of the city. There was a big plaza and a lot of the restaurants are outside. So we were outside eating with lots of um, potatoes and ham and croquetas, which are like fried balls of potato and ham and cheese. Um, it was really good. So while I was there, I did take some classes and I learned that there school schedule is a lot different than here. So they spend all day in class, but we're done by two, and then we go home, and there's like a three hour break for food and to relax, and I really liked the laid back culture that they have there. So one thing I noticed is in the U.S. we all have our sports teams and we're all like separate. We have like the Cavs or we have like the Celtics and everyone has their team. But while I was there, the Euro Cup was going on and it was really neat to see Spain was in the final against England and that day they shut down the entire plaza in the middle of the city and we all got to go out to eat and they put a big like movie theater sized screen in the middle of the plaza and we got to watch the game and cheer on the team and it was just everyone was supporting their country and it was really neat to see. This weekend, football, cross country and BSOC compete. Make sure to come out and support. Have a fun and safe weekend, Kilburn, and always remember to keep, keep it classy. classy.